Hello. Welcome back to our tutorial video series. This video will guide you through the process of setting up your Axio Tilt Meter node. Let's get started. To set up your node, you'll need the following. An Android device with the Axio Nimbus application installed. A USB to micro USB cable. and an OTG adapter. Turn your node on. Connect the micro USB side of your cable to the micro USB port of your node. Then connect the other end of the cable to your OTG adapter and plug your OTG adapter into your Android device. Now, ensure your Android device is connected to your gateway's Wi-Fi network. Once we've downloaded the project configuration in a couple steps, you can disconnect from your gateway's Wi-Fi network to move around your site and install your nodes as necessary. Once connected to the Wi-Fi network, we can open the Axio Nimbus app. Then press the Start button. Please be sure you click OK on the pop-up requesting cable permissions, as this allows your node to communicate with your Android device. Next, click the download icon next to the name of your project in the project list. Once you've arrived at the setup project page, tap the pair node icon in the bottom left to enter the node setup page. On the node setup page, we can see the device ID of our node. View and edit the node's name. and check to make sure the node is updated to the latest firmware version. It is always wise to make sure your node is running the latest firmware, so let's run through that process right now. Tap the icon next to node version and you will see a pop-up asking you to ensure the node is in update mode. To put your node into update mode, press and hold the test button. Then, without releasing the test button, switch the node off, then back on again. Once the node has been switched back on, you can release the test button. Your node is now in update mode and you can proceed. Select the hardware version of your node. This information is printed inside your node. Next, we will select our firmware version. For this node, we only have the one version available at this time, so let's select that one. Once you've selected your hardware and firmware versions, tap the Firmware Update button at the bottom of the screen. Your node will now work through the update process. Once complete, you will see a pop-up indicating that the node has been updated successfully. Tap OK to clear this pop-up. Now, we will arrive back at the node setup page, where we can see the node version has updated to the firmware version we selected. The next step will be to set up your sensor. This node is equipped with an onboard biaxial tilt meter. Please take note of the direction of the arrows on the sticker on the side of your node, as they indicate the direction of tilt that your node can detect. On the sensor setup page, tap on the arrow to the right of sensor 1 to configure your sensor. On the sensor settings page, you can give your sensor a name if you would like. You can adjust which parameters will be measured. Adjust excitation time and voltage, though these values are generally best left at their default setting. And also ensure that calibration is enabled. When you are happy with your sensor settings, tap the Save Sensor button at the bottom of the page. 
After saving the sensor, Nimbus will take a reading so that you can verify your sensor settings. Tap the refresh icon to take another reading if you would like. When you are ready, tap Start Monitoring to finish commissioning your node. You'll be prompted to choose your sample rate. Anywhere from 5 minutes to 24 hours can be selected. You can also choose to enable Background Sync, a feature which allows your node to store data in the event of a network disconnection, then automatically sync that data back to the gateway once the network connection is restored. There is also an option to erase the memory of the node. This is useful if your node has been previously used on another project, and you want to make sure no old data comes through. Now we can tap OK to clear the pop-up letting you know that your node has been commissioned successfully. You can now disconnect your cable from your node and Android device. Back on the Setup Project page, you'll notice the Project Sync icon in the bottom right has turned red. This indicates that Nimbus has made changes in the project, such as commissioning a new node, and those changes must be synced with your gateway. To do the Project Sync, return to your gateway and reconnect to its Wi-Fi network. Once reconnected, open Nimbus and tap the red Project Sync icon. This will send all of the node configuration information back to your gateway so that your data can be collected and organized properly. If we go back into the project setup page after completing the project sync, we can see that the project sync icon is no longer red. This concludes our tutorial on setting up your Axio Beam Tilt Meter node. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please feel free to reach out to us by emailing support at axio.com. Thanks for stopping by.